Recycling. Now that all the tools have been gathered, you can begin to recycle PET. The process is fairly straightforward, quick, and easy. Just collect, sort, clean, slice, and dry your bottles. Because you're not reliant on the speed of any machines, this stage can go very quickly. Depending on how quick you want to be, you can take on a more active role to collect the bottles by asking friends or collecting them from bins, or passive by just collecting a bottle here or there as you find them in public spaces. In either case, you'll know exactly how the material is being recycled. Next, you'll need to sort your bottles, as some will be better suited to produce printer filament with than others. Cleaning will get any residue or labels off that could cause problems for your 3D printer. And while all of the previous steps are very necessary, slicing your PET bottles into strips will be the most crucial step, in addition to being very satisfying. Afterwards, just dry the strips and get ready to start producing. Start by collecting bottles, a lot of bottles. Each island of the archipelago system requires about 50 grams of PET filament. While PET bottles vary in their size and thickness, on average, each island will require approximately four 1.5 liter bottles with a little bit of leftover material. Sort your bottles. Some bottles are curvy and others are straight, meaning that not every bottle can be used for the structural supports of the archipelago system. Since the curvy ones aren't great for the supports, any overly curvy bottles can be cleaned, sliced, dried, formed into printing filament, and then used. Bottles with straight sides can be set aside for use as structural supports. Clean. You want to clean all of the bottles that you collect so that nothing gets stuck inside of your filament and causes it to jam up your printer nozzle. Strip the label off as best you can. Remove the top, rinse out, and cut the bottom off of each. Dry them if you have time, or wait until after you've sliced them into strips. Slice. This is arguably one of the most important steps in the whole process. You will need to use the bottle slicer to produce even strips of PET that you will then use to make filament. Sort the bottles by thickness of their PET so that you don't have to change the blade level of the bottle slicer too frequently. Please refer to the table that can be found at the Archipelago website. Dry. For best results, you want to dry the PET strips before extruding them and after, if possible, in order to ensure that the filament is free of any liquids.